welcome to Chief Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today's tip, honestly, it's just kind of a rant. Sorry. Um, but it stems from a conversation that I had with a, a good friend of mine that I highly respect and I think the world of, but it kind of um, brought to light to me a specific um, social, like kind of socially accepted way of thinking that I was just like, no, that is not correct. We were talking about our kids and everybody going away to college really soon. <gasps> yeah. And um, we were discussing like all of their options and their choices and the different kinds of things. And granted, you know, we are here in a college town and I am surrounded by academics and, you know, professors of all different ilk and you know all that kind of stuff and you know my friend is you know a highly highly educated academic and has like all kinds of degrees in linguistics and stuff like this but she kind of had uh, you know a, a couple of you know kind of dismissive ways of expressing herself when she was talking about um people who are creative you know and about how like so and so has a PhD and this one has their like two masters and and all this kind of stuff and you know my response was like well yeah I mean that's that's great and all and I was just like but you do understand that there's kind of a limited library of things that they give PhDs for you know that creatives generally don't have options in those areas that aren't already kind of you know predestined career tracks uh, for instance and it kind of brought me to a quote that i wanted to kind of share with you guys from ken robinson and the quote is many highly brilliant creative people think that they are not because the thing that they were good at in school wasn't valued or was actually stigmatized that is the thing that i want to bring home to everybody out there watching is that, you know, I was a kid that wasn't great at math and science and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I got decent grades or whatever, you know, but that was not my thing. And there, there very often isn't a mode of expression in the school systems, especially these days, for creative thinking. And if everybody just continued to think uh, in terms of what appeared on a standardized test, society would get nowhere. It is because of the force and the will of creatives that um, things move along. And it is because of the force of the, the highly intelligent people who can mesh math, science, and creative thought that is the blessing of where we are today. So I guess my little rant basically is that if you're a creative out there struggling and feeling a little bit less than today or any other day, don't. There may not be a, uh, a PhD available in spatial relationships, but there should be. Um, and if there were, uh, there would be uh, a lot of fantastic creative people out there showing what they can do. At this time, you know, society is a little behind the power curve at um, uh, understanding and appreciating creatives. So you kind of have to do it for yourself. But I'm also kind of asking that you do it for your friends and the other creative people that you know and you love and also for all the kids that are struggling in the same ways that you may have experienced in your life feeling underappreciated or misunderstood that the way that they see the world and the way that they process information isn't as valuable as the kids who whiz through the standardized, te standardized test forms. That's not the only way to think. I'm convinced it's not the best way. So. Uh, be proud of your creative skills and the way that you see the world. Um, it makes the world a much, much better place and you should feel good about that every single day. So we hope you enjoy.